Welcome to the Big Four Accounting Firms podcast, brought to you by BigFourAccountingFirms.com and the Big Four Accounting Firms YouTube channel. Before we get started, just wanted to remind everybody to support us if you have a chance or if you can. Even a dollar helps. And we have a link in the description to a website called Buy Me a Coffee. It's just a way to donate to us and support us. Again, any amount is helpful so that we can keep putting out content. And there's also other ways for you to support us in the show notes to this podcast or on YouTube in the description. In today's podcast, I wanted to talk about the benefits of working for a smaller firm, or maybe even the reasons why you might want to work for a smaller firm. We mainly talk about big four accounting firms here, but there are other accounting firms out there that you might want to work for. And the reason you might want to work for a smaller accounting firm is maybe you can't get a job with a big four accounting firm. Maybe it's too hard. But there's a lot of different firms out there. And by a smaller firm, what I really mean is a firm that's making tens of millions of dollars a year as opposed to hundreds of millions or billions. Because if a firm is making $100 million plus a year, then that's a pretty big firm in the United States and probably in other countries too. It's going to be a pretty large firm. So what I'm talking about is smaller firm in the tens of millions. And the reason it would be good to work for a firm like that is because you're going to get more experience uh, because the clients are going to be smaller. The, the clients are going to be smaller. And then another reason that it might be good to work for a smaller firm is because they might work with clients that the big four accounting firms aren't allowed to. Like right now, the cannabis industry is growing pretty extensively in the United States because certain states have legalized it, but it's not legal federally. So the big four accounting firms don't want to work in that space yet. So you can really grow a good client base in that industry. It's a growing industry too, which means there'll be a lot of mergers and acquisitions and things like that, but it also it's growing. So the accounting within those companies will not be good because even when you work for the big four accounting firms, a lot of their really big clients aren't necessarily the best at accounting either. So if you take that, uh, if you take that where normally a client might not be good at accounting or their accounting systems might not be the best, and then you take that to an even smaller company, then you can imagine the headaches that come. And not only that, you're going to be making errors when you're working on smaller clients, uh, making errors uh, because they don't have as much knowledge and you might not have that much knowledge. So you're going to run into errors a lot. Like your partners are going to pick it up. A reg regulator might pick it up. Maybe investors pick it up and you're going to learn a lot from that. Or maybe you have a partner or a manager in your group that's made a lot of errors and they can teach you. Where in the big four accounting firms, a lot of what you're doing is working off of prior year. That's a a very common saying in the big four accounting firms is same as prior year. You just follow a lot of the prior year documentation. Uh, people carry over documents from client to client. They use the same documents. They use the same approaches. They see the same accounting policies. So it becomes more of process oriented when you're in the big four accounting firms. Where at a smaller accounting firm, you're relying a lot more on your own knowledge and the knowledge of your partners. So you're going to make a lot more errors. You're going to learn faster. You're going to have a lot more client interactions, but your clients also might not have a full accounting department or a full tax department. You might be able to work directly with the CFO. You're going to, your network is going to be stronger because at a smaller client, you're going to be closer to that CFO where at a larger client, you're going to be working with lower level accounting personnel. Uh, for example, if you're an associate at one of these accounting firms, you might be uh, if you're an associate at a big four accounting firm, you're going to be working somebody that's at the same level at the client, at a big client. Or as if you work at a smaller accounting firm, you might be working with somebody that's more of a manager level at the client, or maybe even the CFO or controller there. So your network is going to be stronger. It's going to be better. You're going to have more influential personnel that you're close to. And if you have these smaller clients and those clients end up going public, well, then you know somebody that works for a public company now. So those are just some of the benefits that you can get by working for a smaller accounting firm. So I want people to think about that. 
it's not always the worst to work for a smaller accounting firm. But that being said, you need to do your diligence. You need to figure out what kind of accounting firm it is and whether you want to invest your career there. For example, if their client base has not been growing, then you don't want to necessarily go there because you might not get the clients you want. You might not, you might not be able to grow your career. However, if it's growing really fast and their clients keep growing, that's an accounting firm you want to work for because your career can grow. And you also want to think about your potential to work in the industry. So if the clients keep growing and they go public, well, they're going to need more accounts and maybe they can offer you a job. Maybe when they offer you that job, you'll get stock options. Cause that's like people, a lot of people talk about 401k, but if you can work at a growing company and get stock options, then I mean, that's sort of exponential possibilities there for your wealth and your growth. So those are some things to think about if you're considering whether working for the big four accounting firms or a smaller accounting firm. That's the podcast for today. Make sure to subscribe to this podcast to get future updates. Make sure to check out the show notes. We have a lot of links in there for interview course, books, and also the buy me a coffee link, which you can use to donate. We've been getting some donations from, from great people and people that are trying to help out so that we can put out more content, not only on the podcast, but videos and courses and books. So if you want to help out in that way and keep us going, then make sure to check out the buy me a coffee link. And also to help us out, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Big Four Accounting Firms. That link is also in the show notes. Thanks for listening.